I don't know what I did to make everybody I don't know what I did to make everybody everybody I don't know what I did to make everybody everybody I don't know what I did to make everybody I don't know what I did to make everybody hate me. Oh, nigga, hey, Chris. The slip of my tongue, trick the finger for fun. You know I got this trick finger, man. They know how we do it on the heels. What's, what's up? What's up? What's up? If they come, it's Kegel. He ain't waffles and bagels. What's up, Kegel? Don't need to worry about that stuff. What's what they say? Everybody got to take one for the team. One time in their life. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> So in this case, I would say, you know, I took one for the team. You know what I'm saying? You know, me and Lil Tony, you know what I'm saying? Because we was a team, the duet, the duo. You know what I'm saying? I said duet. But anyway, man, so we have my older sister, Kim, Kimberly Harris. So she had a friend that like stayed down in Newton, Georgia. Big shout out to all my partners down there in Newton, Georgia. But we'll say her name is Lady T. So um, before I even begin this story, we love you, Lady T. You know I do anyway. Love people, condolences, all that. Man. You know what I'm saying? But hey, it's a story. It's a part of my life, man. You know I don't tell nothing but true stories. So my sister got a friend named Lady T that living down in Northern Georgia. And uh, she's coming up every, you know, week, two weeks, you know, in between times maybe. But she coming up with my sister. I see her, you know, and, you know, what's up? You know, me and my sister talk, kick it with her love, then they go about their business. Me personally, you know, when I see my sister friend, you know, it was, it's some of in my life, my older sister Kim, that is, it's some of in my life that um, I seen and, you know, I did, uh, entangled with, you know what I'm saying? But in this particular case, uh, Lady T, you know, she wasn't my cup of tea, you know what I'm saying? Great person, great personality, great humor, and overall great soul. So, you know, like I said, she was a great person, but it wasn't my cup of tea for us dating and, you know, and sleeping with things of that nature, you know what I'm saying? It's not a bad or good thing. It's just, you know, what I prefer and what I don't prefer. So, um, in this case, you know, she was coming up here with my sister and I didn't know, you know, nothing about her. I didn't, you know, she was from Noonan, that was my sister told me, but at that time I didn't even know what Noonan was, having been down there, you know, from the city, you know what I'm saying? So, after a couple of times up here, me and my sister get to talking and I find out that Lady T was coming up here and like nine answers of crack and going back to the hood and, you know, doing her thing, you know, she was doing her thing. I'm like, what? So I end up one day talking to my partners and stuff, letting them know what was going on. They were like, man, you know, we need to get her, man. Tree set it up. I'm like, what? Like, no, man, that's Kim, friend, my older sister. And then when I said that, even my friends were like, oh, yeah, you were right. You know, they ain't want to smoke with my older sister. You know what I'm saying? This, this real talk, man. So they know how she is. So, you know, that's her friend. So, you know, if she protected. So, <laughs> as time went, man, you know, I was sitting at home thinking, you know, I had a couple of friends calling, like, Tree, man, you should, you know, still trying to persuade me to, to to stick old girl up. But, you know, I wasn't on that. And like I say, my sister friend, and, you know, I, I ain't want to be, you know, all raw like that and then have my sister you know, jumping down my throat. But as time passed, of course, as time passed, you know, you know, I got to get my grind. You know what I'm saying? And at this time, when that's shaking. So I started thinking about old girl, but, you know, I didn't want to rob and pull out the pistol and do the thing, you know, like that. So I sat back and thought, man, and I said, oh, man, should I do this? <laughs> so I called my partner, you know, you know Lil Tony, and uh, told him, you know, hey, man, you know, the girl should be coming up, and I let him know what the deal was. So he told me just play up under, play up under her for for yo for those of you who don't understand what play up under me. <laughs> but anyway, so 
what I did was the next time she came up when she was with my sister, you know, I took my shot at her. You know what I'm saying? And of course, she was digging homes. You know what I'm saying? So black boy did his thing, you know, talked to her, got a number, then we start talking here and there on the phone. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm a talkative person, y'all see it. So it ain't no thing for me to get on the phone, be on the phone with two, three hours. You know what I'm saying? So hi. So now we done got close to the point where she done open up and start telling me what she's doing, how much she's getting, and you know, things of that nature. So when she told me her price and what she was getting, I was telling her my partner could get it for like eight hundred. You can get it from a pot for like 800 cheaper. And that would save her almost a band. You know what I'm saying? So she took my word and told me the next time she come up, she was going to hit me. So within a three week, a month period of time, she was hitting me on four and a half ounces of crack. So once she hit me and said she would be over here in like two or three hours, I called my partner Lil Tony. Lil Tony had just came up with a bastard recipe for crack cocaine but it wasn't crack but it looked like crack you know what i'm saying so i told him he told me he got a recipe for her. he came over to the spot and got a uh um uh, green bean you know them green beans he got the can pulled it out y'all know how to do we hit the stove and his ingredients was he got a clear or white candle the long stick candle like that he put it into the into the um, can over the stove and he melted the wax down. Now the wax is a clear liquid inside of the can. Then he went ahead and got some pancake mix. Put the pancake mix in now, just a little, and he whipped it up, add a little bit more, just like you cooking your thing. You put that whip, whip on it, Mike. <laughs> but make a long story short, man, he get it, he get it out. Get it out of the can, and there you have your big cookie right there, about this big. You know what I'm saying? About the size of the bottom of the can. And then you get your razor blade, and he starts shaving off all the light parts of the pancake mix and candle wax. You know what I'm saying? Which, when he once he done, the finished product looked like some butter. Some butter. Y'all know that butter? That butter crack, man. You know, you got that pure white and you got that butter. You know what I'm saying? And it looked like that butter. So he'll do four and a half, four and a baby, whatever she wanted, into a pancake mix and wax. And once he done that, what he do next is the fingernail polish remover that you girls use. He get that and he wipe fingernail polish remover all on the pancake mix and wax. Then he let it sit. Let it fade off a little bit, and it had that stitch to it a little. So when she came up, she had the bread. Of course, I knew she was gonna gonna um 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 check the the, the product, but she didn't check it as much as she think. I mean, I thought she would. You know what I'm saying? And like, I had to even to get this girl to trust me. You know what I'm saying? Like we talked on the phone and all that, but you know, after about two months a month of talking on the phone, you know, she was ready to, you know, get down, you know, you know, in the hotel and, you know, get together. And I didn't really own that, but I knew that me stalling was going to mess up the lid. So I went ahead and just knocked her down. Boom, boom, boom. Then I got to knock her down again. The second time, it was for, I'm going to be real with you. It was for fun. <laughs> but once I built that trust up, y'all, here we go. She up here, count the money I on the hilltop, four and a half ounces of crack, and I got it right here. And like I said, she didn't she didn't dissect it as much as I think she did, but she did smell it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> it had that stench to it, man. And like she got it, boom, 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 put that trunk, she gone. I got the money right here, man. Latona went and ate off of her. You know what I'm saying? Of course. We had to hear that. We had to hear my sister mouth. Well, I did. You know what I'm saying? She could get in touch with him, but she called on my phone. She tripping. She tripping. And, you know, I just started ignoring it after so much. You know what I'm saying? It was already done. You know what I'm saying? And like I say, I had to take one for the team, man, because, you know, it went like, you know, home, you know, well, home at. It went, you know, like she was, you know, a model. You know what I'm saying? Uh, anything of that nature, you know? So in this case, I had to knock her down. 
to get them four and a half, baby. <laughs> Thank y'all for tuning in to another great episode of Underground Source TV with your host, TV and film producer, Don Trish Knox, OG Black Butt, 3700 College Park. Stand up. I don't know what I did to make everybody I don't know what I did to make everybody hate everybody hate I don't know what I did to make everybody hate everybody hate I don't know what I did to make everybody hate those I don't know what I did to make everybody hate those niggas hate the slip of my tongue if it comes to Kegel, he ain't waffles and bagels. What's up, Kegel? Don't need to worry about that.